This is honestly one of my favorite places to sleep. I sleep so well in here. It is so cozy. And you never remember that you're in the back of a small truck. It's It transforms into a tiny cabin as soon as you come in. And it can go anywhere your truck can go. Unfortunately, like so many others at the time, I suddenly found myself out of work, and for the first time in 10 years, I had time to just decompress. This tiny cabin is the result of finally allowing my creativity to run free after working in engineering jobs for a couple years, where I felt my creativity had been stifled. This was really more of an artistic expression than anything else. The result was something more beautiful than I anticipated, and it really captured something that was clear I could not let go. Hey, how's it going guys? I had some extra time today, so I decided it was finally time to do a more in-depth video tour of my tiny cabin on my truck. All right, so here in Pennsylvania, we got some snow this week. I figured it was a great time to pull the truck in the yard and uh, give you guys a little tour of the insides and outsides of this truck and what exactly it is. So this is the original Wildbound Cabin Co. truck idea. This is kind of where it all began. So starting off, it's a 1999 Mazda B3000. This is a three liter, four wheel drive, stick shift. This is basically a Ford Ranger that Mazda just put their own badges on. Uh, this thing was cheap, but it does a job, and this is where it all began. So, I just have 31 inch tires on there. They do fine. Uh, they're getting kind of worn out, so I'll need to replace them here at some point. I would like to put 33s on, I think, next time. Might need to trim the fenders a little bit, but I think it'll give the truck a really good look and a little bit more ground clearance. Inside, Again, nothing special here. Got my old man lumbar support for longer drives. Five speed stick shift. Usually when I'm camping, I put like a cooler in here, uh, some extra storage, some bags, that type of thing. That's the inside. You know, this thing's got some rust. It's got dirt. It's not perfect, but that's kind of what makes it fun. Got a hitch on there for, for pulling stuff like other tiny cabins. By the way, my Instagram page has since been updated to wildbound underscore cabin underscore co. So it's a four wheel drive, which is nice. Although the four wheel drive works intermittently. So that's a project that I'm working on currently. Here's the part that I think you're all actually here for is the tiny cabin on the back of the truck. So on the outside, I just have a pine tongue and groove um, exterior. Steel corrugated roofing, I have had no problems with that roof, never leaks. That roof will outlast the truck. Here on the side you can see I built this really simple awning. I had an old billboard lying around um, that I had I bought for a different project but I didn't end up using it. So it's literally just two aluminum rods with an old billboard wrapped up on them. I roll it out and then I have to uh, ratchet strap it to a tree or something to, to support it. So that awning is something that I might replace or rebuild a little bit differently in the future here. But for now, it works and it was cheap and uh, recycled materials. On to the windows. So these windows, I custom made these. Actually, I got the glass out of an old truck cap. So it's actual tempered glass. Let's see if you can see, there it says tempered glass. Also there's me. And then just for fun, Burned wood burned in Anderson 1 series because these things are antique the original Anderson series One last word on the outside of the truck I love that this truck is green and I got the roofing material to match it almost perfectly It is literally the color theme of a tree. So this thing looks so good in the woods. It fits right in I Forgot to mention earlier. This is a six foot long bed. So this is a small little truck and a short bed relatively short to some other trucks that have eight foot beds. Um, but I am extremely surprised by how spacious it feels once you're on the inside. So without further ado, let's go to the inside. So 
So here we are inside the tiny cabin. I got my bed on the left side here, a couple of shelves here, and uh, we'll go through all that when we get there. The tailgate comes down, and underneath the bed, I have a good amount of storage. So you can see, I can store a snowboard under there, folding chair. Um, usually I'll toss a couple of ramps under here that I use to level the truck, and then I can just throw firewood and that type of thing in here, and I pull that out once I get to camp. Additionally under here, I've got this bin. Right now I just have random sorted stuff in it, but this is a ton of room for clothes, pillows, and blankets, and all that type of stuff. So that all fits under there. Once I have the chair out, that bin slides under a little bit better. One of the best things about the tiny cabin on the truck is the tailgate becomes a really nice work surface. I grab my stove, pop open the stove, and then I've got a real nice little work surface there where I can cook up food, and I can easily access the inside of the cabin if I have items sitting here. My bed frame is not attached to the truck in any way. Um, the reason I did that is because I need to haul sheets of plywood and big stuff so that bed frame slides right out. If somebody wanted to use this more solely for camping you could definitely integrate that bed frame kind of into the truck and then you could have some pull out shelves and that type of thing. Uh, or sorry, pull out drawers, and that's a pretty common uh, approach as well. So, on to the inside. First things first, on these snowy days, got to keep the snow out of the cabin. So once I'm inside, pull that closed. Door swings closed as well, let the camera adjust. As soon as you get in here, you forget instantly that you're in the back of a truck. I am 5 foot 11. I am about as tall as you can possibly be. My feet are nearly against that wall, and my head is nearly against this wall. But I fit, and it's cozy. So, I don't have electricity back here. Um, that's something that I'll probably add at some point once I want to spend that money on a good battery set. So, until then, I just simply use a little battery-powered string lights, and these things string around the top of the cabin, and they actually, at night, I'll show you guys later tonight once it gets dark. They put out a surprising amount of light and are more than enough to light up the cabin at night. So here's my little, I guess you could call it kitchen area. Some mugs hanging up there. And then up top here, um, pots and pans, bowl. And then over here, I just have a spatula and um, also just some items for camping and, you know, like a hatchet. Some of those items that I just want to quick grab while I'm out there. I take that stuff down when I'm driving, but it's a really nice place to leave pots and pans and that type of thing when I'm at camp. But while I'm driving, I oftentimes I fold that one up and it cl clips in over here, but that just keeps the stove up and out of the way. When I get where I want to be, that folds down and that's perfect. So again, here's my windows. Um, I made these things kind of rustic, simple, but I love them. So there's little latches here and then the windows that pivot open um, and then latch it shut again. I found this in my grandparents' basement and it's basically just for decoration, but it does have a thermometer on there that kind of works, although I think it's actually closer to 30 degrees. So that being said, I guess it doesn't work at all, but either way, cool decoration found in my grandparents' basement. Here's a little fan. Um, I run this thing just off of my little rechargeable battery pack. So I have a couple of these. I just charge them in my truck uh, off of the cigarette lighter and then I can power my phone at night and then also the fan. And that's good for the summer especially to get some air moving. But also in the winter, you'll notice up here I have a Mr. Heater buddy heater. And a lot of you would probably say, Austin, why do you have your heater up at the top of the cabin? That is the least efficient place that you can put it. And I agree, but my main reason for having the heater way up here uh, was safety. This thing is a live flame. Definitely makes me a little nervous in a tiny cabin that's basically made completely of wood. That being said, I do have a fire extinguisher. But the main reason for putting it up here is I don't want it anywhere near the ground where my comforter could fall over and touch it. And yeah, I just didn't want it anywhere near the ground. I can turn the fan on and just circulate the air a little bit better. And uh, that makes everything a little bit toastier. Right now I got a nice little candle going, which is awesome. Just some plants to make it feel 
a little more cozy. And what this is, is just a small little solar powered light. This thing is actually a lot brighter than I expected it to be. And again, it's a really nice soft white. The thing I like about that is I don't ever have to worry about batteries. I never have to worry about powering it or anything as long as I just set it out in the sun every once in a while. Once it's fully charged, it lasts probably like eight hours. So charge it every once in a while and then um, it's a really nice warm light. This thing is a custom decoration that I made. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me if that thing's for sale. No, it's not, but stay tuned on the Instagram page and the website. Um, I might have something coming that you'll be interested in here in a bit. Some decorations. This little guy, tiny little guitar I got at a thrift store for like $10. I kind of got it just for fun, just to see what it would sound like with some new strings. And it sounds pretty much how you'd expect a tiny little first act guitar with new strings to sound. But there's something to be said about the best tool is the one that you have with you. And I can just take this thing wherever, I smash it into stuff. I can play that thing by the campfire. It's the perfect little tiny little travel guitar. So yeah, that thing usually comes along. Another window, you know what that is. Water bottle, nice sticker. Coming right along with my, uh, my theme of bears for decorations. And ducks, I guess. And then up here is my other little cabinet that I have. And up here I just have like an extra blanket, some books. Nice t-shirt. That's a nice place to store clothes as well. I've only done single camping in here for now. I can convert this into a double bed if two people wanted to camp in here. So in that case, you'd want to store clothes and blankets and all that type of stuff up here and up here. So that works great for that. So here's my little window so I can see what's going on outside. That's pretty much it. One of my favorite parts of the interior of this little cabin is the the roof that here is two angles. And then towards the front it's got this three angle thing going on where the front of it is sloped down and then the sides are sloped to the side. And it looks really cool from the inside. Kind of like this big ceiling with all these beams in there and everything and uh yeah i like that for those of you curious what it's like to crawl into bed in this thing the mattress is just a mattress that i got from a futon from like ikea it's like four inches thick and honestly the most comfortable thing ever i sleep amazing on it i love it so comfortable coming down here all cozy like a little caterpillar in a cocoon so there it is in the tiny cabin I got a remote for the lights right here so I can turn them on and off this is honestly one of my favorite places to sleep I sleep so well in here it is so cozy and you never remember that you're in the back of a small truck it's it transforms into a tiny cabin as soon as you come in and it can go anywhere your truck can go. I wanted to show you guys the truck at night so you can see what the inside looks like with the lights on. There it is. Let me crawl up on in here and I can show you what it looks like from the inside. Outside, but good and cozy in here. This is it. Favorite place to camp. All right, guys, well, that wraps up the video tour of the tiny cabin on my truck. I hope you could tell from the video that I absolutely love this thing. There's nothing like just driving your truck knowing you have a tiny cabin right on the back of that, anywhere you end up. Uh, you'll be in your cozy little cabin. So if any of you guys would be interested in more information or have questions or would like to have a wild bound cabin of your own on your truck or trailer or in a van, um, reach out. You can find us at wildboundcabinco.com. Uh, I also have an Instagram, wildbound underscore cabin underscore co, and Facebook, TikTok. Reach out with any questions. Let me know if you guys liked the video, and I'll see you next time.